I flew from London to the town of Tromso in northern Norway. But on arriving in Tromso, I was greeted with low cloud, sleet, rain and generally bad visibility. There was no way I was going to see the northern lights with this much cloud. So with that in mind, I set off in search of clear skies and drove to the town of Karajok, 200 miles north of the Arctic Circle. Well, here I am up in the Arctic with the Sony EX1 and it's working perfectly. No problems with the S by S cards, the solid state media, there's no moving parts, so you don't get problems with uh, moisture, humidity, condensation and all of that. So uh, no covers on it, very cold, but everything working perfectly and getting beautiful images of this amazing, desolate uh, scenery. From Karashok, it was a rough and bumpy ride by snowmobile up into the mountains to one of the small huts that I'd arranged to stay in. We're uh, on the uh, snowmobile up to our uh, cabin and uh, you would not believe how cold it is up here and also how bumpy this uh, snowmobile trip is. It's uh, really uh, pretty rough, but uh, thanks to the solid state camera, it's working okay. This is a rough ride. As the low Arctic sun set below the horizon, the clouds cleared. Tonight was going to be the night that I would get to see my first aurora. lights are relatively dim. If you are using a stills camera, you'd need an exposure of at least a minute to capture any worthwhile detail. I was using the Sony EX1, and by using a combination of the slow shutter, time lapse, and the camera's inherently good sensitivity, I was able to capture these stunning images of the Aurora Borealis. There's the uh, EX1 camera, and if you look, it's uh, covered in frost and ice, but it's still working, no problem at all, still recording on the uh, S by S memory cards, and I just know that with a tape camcorder we'd be having problems now with this much uh, uh, cold, icy uh, weather and uh, really extreme conditions. The following morning, we were greeted by some truly severe weather. The wind was howling across the Arctic plains at 30 miles an hour, picking up ice and snow and blowing it in our faces. These were extreme conditions. Look at this, it's howling wind, absolutely blowing a gale, got ice and snow, freezing cold. Yet the XD cam cameras are working beautifully. We haven't got heated packs, we haven't got anything other than very simple camera covers and it's been minus 20 and everything's just working. 
working flawlessly. 